Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to read um, a passage out of Isaiah chapter 39. It says, At that time, Merodach, Baladan, the son of Baladan, king of Babylon, which is now modern day Iraq, sent letters and a present to Hezekiah, the king of Israel, for he had heard that he had been sick and was recovered. And Hezekiah was glad of them and showed them the house of his precious things, the silver and the gold and the spices and the precious ointment and all the house of his armor and all that was found in his treasures there was nothing in his house nor in all his dominion that Hezekiah showed them not. By the way, it's not a good idea to uh, share everything you have with someone who is your avowed enemy and who doesn't respect you very much. Um, sometimes we have a little problem today with Iran, which is ancient Persia, and with Iraq, which is Babylon. And uh, sometimes we give them too much information and show them too much of what we have or what we can do. I'm just saying, from my viewpoint, it's not a smart thing to do. Anyway, it says, Then came Isaiah the prophet unto King Hezekiah and said unto him, What said these men? And from whence came they unto thee? Uh, uh, Isaiah was a prophet, meaning he was a religious leader coming to the king and uh, saying, what are you up to? And he tells him, he says, uh, uh, he said, uh, there come from a far country unto me, even from Babylon, <laughs> like he's impressed. Then said he, what have they seen in thine house? Hezekiah answered, all that is in mine house have they seen. There's nothing among my treasures I haven't showed them. Then said Isaiah, again, the religious leader, to Hezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord of hosts. Behold, the days come, that all that is in thine house, and that which thy fathers have laid up in store until this day, shall be carried to Babylon. In other words, Iraq's going to get it all. Nothing shall be left, saith the Lord. And of thy sons that, that shall issue from thee, which thou shalt beget, that means future children, shall they take away, and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. Then said Hezekiah to Isaiah, Good is the word of the Lord which thou hast spoken. He said, Moreover, for there shall be peace and truth in my days. Political leader, not even cared about his own children. He's just concerned that in his days there will be peace and that all these troubles will come to his own children and to his own people. I have to tell you, it bothers me today when we have leaders that are concerned about themselves and not concerned for we, the people. It bothers me. It's not the first time it's happened. It happened then. It might happen again. I don't know. I'm not saying. But God has a word for us. He says this, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your God. Because even in spite of leaders that don't know God, God still cares about his people. He says, Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, her sin will be forgiven, for she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. What it means is that judgment comes upon the people of God when they turn away from him, but it's not over yet. After God deals with his people, disciplines them, he then comes along and delivers them and provides for them above and beyond probably what they deserve. And he says, uh, The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. He's talking about Jesus Christ coming to deliver the people of God. I do know, I believe for sure, that Jesus is coming again. The day will come when he takes each of his children, a believer, with him to heaven, to a place he's prepared for us. So don't worry about what's going on in the world today. Don't lose sleep about it. Um, and know this, someday he's coming to establish his kingdom and his kind of peace, which isn't like we get promised from politicians. It's a real peace that will last for ever. So I just say, trust God. Don't worry too much about what's going on because God actually knows all about it. He's got it under control. Someday, if you put your faith in him, he'll for sure take care of you. Okay? God bless you.